It was a nice day on the Isle of Sodor. Sir Talmad saw that Rosie was very nervous inside Vickerstone Sheds. He had finished setting he he had finished settling the rivalry between Mavis and Hannah. What is the problem, sir? Once Sheffield returned to the empty trucks, Rosie, you're to take them to Ellsbridge. They are needed to go to Ellsbridge Harbor. Hector is a part of this train. Hector is a part of the train as he will be vital with the Keystone shipment. But sir, since Hector arrived to Soto in 2007, Rosie is afraid that that Harper will be rude to her. Rosie, it's been 12 years since Hector was, well, horrid. But he is not horrid anymore. He is a useful piece of rolling stock, and I am sure that you will understand that he is a changed truck. I understand, sir. I did not mean to cause any trouble. I know you were frightened before. This time, however, I think will be a different outcome. Thank you, sir. Secretly, Rosie was still holding her fears. When Sheffield oh, returned coffee, with the sir. empty trucks, Rosie asked the austerity a question. Sheffield, is it true about Hector that he has changed? Why, yes, Hector. Why, yes. Hector gets along very well, not with me, but the other engines as well. Trust me, Rosie, you will be fine. Rosie was still scared, but try as she might, she could not leave the trucks in the sidings, so she was coupled up to the train and cautiously pulled away with the train. Rosie then spoke up. Excuse me. What is it, Rosie? You know who I am! Well, did Thomas tell you? No. After you ran away, Thomas asked why it was so well horrid. It's because I was a recent build and I never had coal longer than me before. But thanks to Thomas, he helped me overcome my fear of the coal, and I am a much better hopper. I do apologize if I frightened you when we first met, Rosie. I forgive you, Hector. You have changed, and I see that in you. Rosie felt as if she was going to cry, but Rosie smiled as she carried on toward Ellsbridge. There stood a well-known but unpopular figure he did not seem to impress. It's Jeffreys. Wonder what... It's Jeffreys. Wonder what excuse he has up his sleeve. Rosie arrived at the platform. When she got there, Jeffreys started to complain. Ugh! You clankers always make a noise. Stop blowing that smoke, why don't you? That thing will make a racket at this point. For your information, Jeffreys, this thing is a she and you will... And you just like to make a fuss about anything. That's Station Master Jeffries. Keep away! You keep away from me, you lout! Hey! You leave him alone! He's really useful! What did he ever do to you? Uh, a lot more than what you think. Rosie puffed crossly away to the harbor, leaving a very satisfied Jeffries smirking under his breath. When she arrived at Ellsbridge Harbor, Rosie was very cross. Thomas was there. That Jeffrey is a rude and disrespectful man. He should be canned as far as I'm concerned. Well, Rosie, you're not the only one to have seen Jeffreys, and... But then Thomas saw that Hector was there. Did Hector forgive you? Hector explained the whole story to Thomas. Well, I am happy you two finally put your differences aside. These trucks will need to be loaded with the necessary stones needed for Brendam. Rosie was uncoupled from the trucks and made her way back to the sheds to rest. The other engines were complaining. The other engines were grumbling. Jeffries is full of nonsense. I would say he is full of more than nonsense. Full of ridiculous excuses, if you ask me. What are you on about, guys? The Jeffries thinks he's full of himself. We're tired of him. He said my size takes up most of the platform. He said I was five seconds late with my connection with Thomas. He's sad that I wish too much when I enter the platform. That Jeffreys complained about me clanking. I never clank, do I? No, Rosie, you do not, and I am proud of you. All the same, we do need to stop Jeffreys from committing these antics. Indeed, Rosie, we must do something about this. Sir Tom had arrived. I think I have an idea that will set that Jeffreys straight, and Sir Tom had explained his plan. We will do it tomorrow. That will make him think twice before speaking to my fleet. The next day, all was well. Ellsbridge was quiet, but then Sheffield arrived with a passenger train, More with a train connected to Henry's flyer service. Then a stout gentleman walked out of one of the coaches wearing a blue suit and top hat. 
Sheffield seemed Policemen to take interest in this passenger. Than they're worth. Say, who is this passenger you brought, Sheffield? He is a businessman, Jeffries. He is to go to Vickerstown for an important meeting. That's Station Master Jeffries. Indeed it is. Sir, so, top of that, I will, uh, you thought it was someone else. Well, sir, uh, silence. You have caused a lot of trouble recently. I have received many complaints about you mistreating my engine staff. You ought to stop this nonsense at once, Jeffries, or you will get sacked. Have I made myself clear? I yes, of course, sir. I sincerely apologize, sir. Save your sorries for the engines you have mistreated. Now, good day. And Sir Topman turned towards Sheffield and winked. Hen Henry arrived with his flyer, and Sir Topman boarded the train towards Bickerstown. Henry was smiling all the way, twirling about what happened with Jeffries. Sheffield smiled and puffed prominently away. That night in the sheds, Sir Topman spoke to all of his engines. The last several weeks have been very eventful, but I want you to all know that Jeffries' antics have been stopped. Thanks to my sly plan I came up with, Sheffield, I must say you were wonderful acting so innocently when I confronted Jeffries mm. about his uh, troublemaking. I will say my conversation was short, I couldn't but not so sweet. Myself. All the engines laughed and celebrated. So tomorrow, er First, so tomorrow, you everything will return to normal, engines, and hopefully I do not have to do this type of thing again. I really do I not want say, this to become Foster, a habit. Your don't Everyone had to agree. Much faith in the, police. the next day, Jeffries was more polite and prominent around the station, being friendly around the staff pastors and even the engines who stopped or him. passed by. Sir Tomai was pleased to hear this when he found out from the engines that evening. Soon, George was put back into service following his alliance with Diesel, who was brought back into his regular duties. Rebecca still passed by the orchard whenever she can, whenever she could, to see Trevor and the bees, and Mavis and Hannah are still great friends despite their rough start. As for Station Master Jeffries, from that day, from the day Sir Tom Man called him out on his antics, he is never he is never rude nor disrespectful towards any of the employees, pastors, or engines again, as he now maintains through a more professional standard of what the island expected. Though although between you and me, I think that some of the old Jeffries still resides within the station master at Ellsbridge. Don't you? 